Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. Our match today is Fedor Gors versus Victor Zelensky. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Playing nine ball, race to nine, alternate break. And nine balls racked on the spot. Three consecutive fouls by the same player is loss of game. And I'm not sure if three object balls have to go past the head swing for a legal break, but we'll find out as we go. I'm a little more familiar with these guys' games now. I've done enough commentary on them. Zelensky, uh, I mean, Zelensky, he's a, he's a pretty good up-and-coming young player from Poland. And then Federer Gorst, most people know him now. Breaking from the left side, left bottom. Got the one ball in and I think another one. There they go again, averaging three balls a break. I mean, two balls a break, it's incredible. The table obviously has new cloth. I've been informed that they're all new cloths when they play. So the table is probably pretty conducive. We'll just put left bottom and draw off the rail a little bit to get on the three. Do you want to use let the spin do the work on those shots right there for you amateurs out there? Here he'll stun this one a little bit with the right. He wants to get a little angle on that four. See how he stunned it a little? So he could get over and get the angle to go back for the six. He'll do the same thing here. He'll hit just below center with a lot of right and pop it really hard, go into the rail like that. The pros let the spin do the work, and that's what the amateurs have to learn how to do. Compensate, learn how to use the spins. Here he could go two rails, or he could stun back down the middle of the table or draw back to the side with two rails. That was the way I would play it. There's a lot of ways to play these shots. He'll put some left on this and probably go two rows out and shoot the eight in, his, on, in the corner on his left there. He'll draw out of this and shoot the nine in the same corner. Good shot, good out, uh, good break. Landed pretty good. Just draw it a little or stun it to the rail. There you go. Zelensky takes the first game and the lead one nothing. Fedor Gors breaking from the right side, right bottom or just below center looks like maybe. Quite a bit of spin. He'll go to the side rail, try to get the one on the side and create something else. Well, the one, two, three went just like that. But he got unlucky, I think, a little bit. Well, he might can see it. I can't tell. Certainly can't tell with an overhead camera usually, but if they pan in, then you could tell. But I'm not going to pan in. I think he can just see the edge of the ball. He may have to curve it a little, or he doesn't. If he can make the ball, just shoot real slow and just leave the cue ball right there and play the five down the rail, down the corner. But if he can see enough of the ball, he could draw off and play the five in the same corner or do something else. Yep, that's what I, I said if he could see enough, he would draw down and play the five in the same corner. This is a very prudent play. He didn't like trying to carve the five down the rail, a slow roll. He would have left a little bit too much angle if he slow rolled that four ball. But this is a tricky shot too. I might have taken the other one. He's got to like half draw it a little bit. If he draws it too much, it'll go straight in the side pocket. This is really a tricky shot always. It's a lot easier with this table because I know the table is not overly difficult the way the balls go in the pockets. 
he'll just draw it a little. He might roll it and play safe. I don't know. Go back and forth. Looks like he's drawing it just a little. Yep, he drew it just a little, see? Just to hit just before the side. If it had too much bottom or too much spin, maybe it went straight in the side pocket. We've scratched on that shot many a times. Everyone has. Looks like he could just roll this in and, and keep an angle for the seven going back towards the eight. He can roll it in with right top, or he can draw off a little bit. These guys like stunning a lot. I know that. Stun it with a little bit of right like that. He's still all right. That's good. He's still got an angle going towards the eight. Here we had just below center with left. And he'll hit it kind of firm and spin into the rail, go back to the middle of the table for the eight ball. These guys are very deliberate, I know that. More deliberate than I am. Too deliberate for me, they should be under pressured more. <laughs> he'll put right top or left top, whatever he chooses, or he can stun the ball two rails, come straight back down the table or go two rails. Came straight back down the table with the right. That was the right shot because he had the perfect angle to do it. Now a little bit of left bottom to make it 1-1 one, one, or just roll it in or just stun it to the bottom rail. Just stun to the bottom rail like that. He didn't want to roll it, it might roll off. Zelensky breaking 1-1 one, one from the left side. Left bottom, drawing the cue ball to the side rail. Another good break looks like but the two ball froze to the, I don't know if it, I don't know why they don't ever zoom in where you could actually see what's going on. They always go to this one. There, he does have a shot. Thank God they did that so I could see he had a shot. From the while ago, it looked like it froze right to the ball. I mean, or it didn't, even if it wasn't frozen, it didn't look like it would go. He's just gonna pop it and move the five or go around it a little bit. He moved it just a little, good shot. It's like a pop shot. I try to teach amateurs that shot. It's very important. Just pop the ball a little. Not too hard, not too easy is that pop shot. He'll just draw back down the middle of the table here a little bit, like that. Only thing is, he got a little bit straight for my liking. I might have drew that all the way back down just to get an angle. He can stun off the rail, I think, and come straight back down the table like, like that. Good shot. On the matchroom table, that's a difficult shot because the ball will reverse a lot because it's real dry on the Moscone Cup table. We'll just draw back on this one a little. Like that. Try to get straight on the eight. He may have a little bit of angle, I can't tell. No, he's all right. He'll just kill it right there and play the nine. I still say this is too easy. I don't know what it is. Right bottom, knock it in. Should be a five by 10 with three inch pockets with not enough time to shoot. <laughs> I wanna see the guy run around and he's like nervous and stuff or something. Federer Gorse breaking down one, 2-1, right side, right bottom. Well, that's simply amazing. Oh no, he did make one. I was gonna say he didn't make a ball, which is, these guys average a ball every break. That's impossible. Oh, that's impossible averages. Looks like he can make this and just go in between the nine and the eight with left top. Just bank the ball in and it'll go down there. It, the ball might run into the eight. It might miss the eight and go between them. He does, it certainly doesn't want to hit the nine. He won't get position then. Unless he hits the right side of it. But it looks like he could just bank it and go between them, but it might run into the nine. I can't tell exactly. We'll see now. It's gonna put some left top on it and he'll just roll it in. The left helps bank the ball for you amateurs out there. When you're banking a lot of bank shots, just add a little spin on them. 
and that'll help him right in the pocket. He'll just put some left top on it, aim a little thick. The ball will curve a little. The spin will throw the ball in. Well done, right between them too, perfect. If he didn't put any spin on that, it probably would have hit the eight ball or scratched. Right, it could have scratched just past the eight ball. But nice shot. That wasn't that difficult of a shot. It looked difficult, but it really wasn't. All right, he's gonna stun this out or roll it. Looks like he's stunning back between the eight and the nine. Now he rolled around the seven. What am I thinking about? I didn't, well, he never did show me this. Filming needs a lot of work. I'll tell you that right now. Pool is just so far behind when it comes to stuff like that. He just put left bottom and killed the ball right there. He really doesn't have to move the cue ball very far. The five's right there. It'll give him a perfect angle to come back for the six if he just kills it. I don't know what he stands around looking at. He wastes, wastes a lot of time, unnecessary. He's gonna try to come all the way back out then and shoot the five in the same pocket which I didn't think that was the right shot. I thought he just, just killed it right there and just went two rails. He wastes a lot of unnecessary time. I say that about these guys every time they play. Remind me of golfers. They're, they waste more time than anybody I've ever seen. He's gonna draw straight back or stun Sideways with left. Drew straight back. So he could have drawn that right in the hole if he'd have hit it a little bit harder. But he didn't. And he'll just stop this and he's got the perfect angle. Now he's gonna roll it real easy. He couldn't do that. He had too much angle to stop the ball. Now he'll just draw back a little. Now he'll just draw back again, just a little. Now he'll draw it past the side with right bottom or he'll roll it with the right top. Yeah, he's rolling the ball, right top. Notice he hit that a little bit harder, so always hit that one a little harder like that and go beyond the side. Gorse ties it up 2-2. Two -two. Zelensky's breaking from the left side, left bottom. It just amazes me how many balls they make on the break. I mean, look at these breaks. <laughs> oh, it's like every time they got like a gimme out. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know what he's looking at here. All he's got to do is just stop the ball and the three's right there. I guess the five to the six is a little tricky. He might draw back or just stop right there. Stop, I said just stop right there. The tricky shot is getting to the six. All he's got to do is just roll right where he's looking and draw out of it, he can still use the rail and beat the nine ball. No, I got, no, he can't either. I can see that now, maybe. He may have to get where he can draw off the rail or draw straight back. He's gonna draw straight back down the table now. See, he can't follow this off the rail because he could, he could stun it two rails around the, nine, around the seven but he won't. He'll just draw straight back down the table. Like that. Good shot. Not that well. Perfect speed that he can just follow off the rail now. Now he'll just follow the ball with left top, or he'll draw straight down the table with left bottom. He'll follow with left top. Like I, That's the right way to play that shot. 
Now he'll just draw back a little. A little right bottom, or just roll it in right bottom and just kill it. Takes the lead 3 2 Zelensky. Gorse breaking from the right side, right bottom, sending the cue ball to the rail. It's just amazing how many balls they can make on the break. It's that dry. It's that conducive. You think they're playing in, in Siberia or somewhere, or the North Pole. So dry. My table is so miserable right now, I don't even want to play on it. It's starting to... We're in spring now, and uh, humidity's starting to rise again. Of course, it never goes down around here. Even if it's 40 below outside, it's still 50 percent humidity. I don't understand it. I thought this was a northern atmosphere, but maybe it's global warming. He's going to try to spin around this, but I don't like that shot. I can tell you that right now. There's too much eight ball he's got to cover. He's probably better off to just kick bottom rail and clip it and try to play safe. Might be a mini break here, if, or he can kick the ball in, but he can't get no position. Not, he might get something. I don't like either one of those shots. I don't like kicking the ball, unless he kicks it hard, makes it, gets out of there somehow, off the, comes out of there. That's not impossible to kick it kind of hard and go rail first and then make the ball and then the cue ball will come out around the nine and shoot the three in the side. And this looks like he's, what he's going to He's kicking. Oh, he's pushing out to a jump. Really? I don't, know. I don't like that shot either. I don't know what he's thinking about there. This guy's going to shoot this? It looks like the ball's too far away. Oh. That's like a trick rollout. <laughs> I would let him shoot it. He's sitting there hoping that he shoots it. I can tell by his eyeballs. <laughs> he must have some kind of really trick cue. That he can hop this one that far and hold it and not jump off the table. See, the problem with this shot is, is can he stop it from jumping off the table, the cue ball and the object ball, one or the other? Because he's got to hit it hard to carry that far. He can't baby it, I can tell you that right now. I think he rolled too far. If he pulls this off, then it's just unbelievable. Yeah, I knew he couldn't do that. I've been playing too long. <laughs> oh, he was sitting there hoping that Zelensky would shoot it. I could tell by his eyeball movement. Because <laughs> I've been sitting there doing that before myself. He'll just roll this in and roll up for the four and shoot it in the corner. Hmm. Had a little funny, but he's still all right. He'll put a little left bottom on this and just kill it right there. And I have a perfect angle to come down on the seven off the five. He could draw over a little bit on this or he could follow to the rail. I like following these shots if, the, if it's laying right. Yeah, he followed it. That was perfect, yeah. It was laying right. Now he'll draw this. He'll Well, he'll stun it just below center with a lot of left, and go two rails. Perfect, good shot. 
you got to hit that shot kind of hard too when it doesn't have a lot of angle. So for you amateurs out there, don't baby those shots like that because you gotta you gotta hit it a little. Draw back a little. You can tell how conducive the table is when you can do that little draw like that. Right bottom and draw down the middle. Ah, there's a little mini break for uh, Zelensky, and he's breaking, so this could be a, a big game if he can break and run out here. Put it, get a little bigger lead. Left bottom, left side. Wow, look how good a roll we got there. Hmm. The two balls getting trapped every time, seems like, down here. Zelensky leads 4 2. He could cut this in with left bottom and go around the table. Now I can see it's got a lot of angle. It didn't look like that on the overhead, that it had that much angle. Or he could cut it in and go straight up, or go straight and hit the eight, and try for a roll. That's probably the best shot, is try for something. It could hit the eight and hit the nine, or he'll hit straight top on this. He won't hit it too hard. Yep, he got the bad roll. You know what I like there? Playing safe. <laughs> he had some easy safeties. But it's funny sometimes, you know, when you got a shot, you know, pulls a funny game. You think you can get out of it because you can pocket the ball, but it just isn't always the right play. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. He's going to jump this. He'll put a little bit of right on it. He's going to try to jump. He'll aim a little bit thick on the ball because it'll curve. Put a little bit of right on it and chop down on it. It's like a, you're hitting a pitching wedge in golf or something. Try to pocket the ball. Nope, there goes his mini break. Horse has a shot to cut it in. We'd like to take the time to uh, congratulate Shane Van Boeing on winning the, his first world title against Alban Ocean in the World Championships in England. He's pretty happy, and uh, there's a lot of Americans that are happy. He's the first American to win it since me. So, and he did my uh, traditional jump on the table. He he stole my act, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, I'm happy for Shane. He deserves it. He's a really great player. He's come close so many times, and uh, now he finally got it. Now, if he just doesn't want to try to beat my record. No, just kidding. Alvin would have tied it if he would have won the match. He would have tied my record with three WPA World Championships. I don't know if he'll put a lot of spin on this and just feather it in or just go up and down the table somehow. Yeah, he went up and down that. Yeah, that's a good shot. That wasn't bad at all. I didn't think he could actually do that. Hit it. And and hold it in the middle of the table. I thought it would get away from him if he tried to slow roll it, but he did really well holding that ball right there, and that's a really good position. Me, I would just roll this in. These guys don't like rolling nothing, though. They, they really don't. They want to draw everything. But it's easier to get out here if you just roll the ball in and just float to the bottom rail. See, he still hit that harder than I would have. Because I wouldn't have left this shot straight in. I would have left an angle. Yeah, now Shane will probably win about four of them in a row and beat my record, too. Nah. But records are made to be broken, aren't they? He'll put left top on this and just... Pop it and go back down table a little. 
That's kind of why I didn't like him overhitting the four. If he would just hit the four at the right speed, he would have an easy out. But when he landed straighter on the five, it made it a little trickier. He hit that weak, though. But he actually should have followed that under the seven, in between the seven and nine, I thought, maybe. He's still kind of all right, though, I guess. He's, it's going to get away from him, this shot, a little bit, maybe. He just wants to roll the six ball in with a little left top and go two rails and shoot the seven in the opposite corner there on his left. Or he might have to cut it in and go all the way around the table. I can't tell with this overhead. Yeah, he's got a lot of angle. Yeah. He may have to swing around the table somehow. Little four rails. Ooh, he hit the nine. Wow. Now he's gonna have to show us something. He's lucky the nine didn't cover the pocket for the eight. So he's got a chance to just slow roll it. If it would have covered the eight, he would have had to jack up or, or fire it in and go two rails and bank the eight. Or, yeah, he would have had to do something a little more drastic. Now all he's really got to do is slow roll it in, but this still isn't any bargain. These shots, when you get a little distance, it don't matter how young or old you are, you can miss these shots. It's the beauty of pull. You get these kind of long, slow rolling shots. Good shot. He made a good shot. Like I said, he's lucky the nine didn't cover the eight. So that was a good break. Been my table, it would have covered it. Because there's a ghost in my table. <laughs> 211 balls I ran on it the other day. It's like a, you got to be a genius to run 200 balls on my table. He'll just cheat it past the, eight, the nine like that. Good shot. Stop the nine or stun it. Stopped it. Four, uh, Zelensky leads 4-3. Except he got the mini break back. Breaking from the right side, Gorst. Right bottom. He looks a little like Count Dracula, don't he? Yeah, he does. Right bottom. Drawing the cue ball to the side rail. Only problem is, is the uh, one ball went against the rail and the cue ball went over there. Seems like Zelensky's getting a little more power than him on the break, that's for sure. Yeah, he can't play no kind of kick shot. I thought he could mass it around that and kick behind it, but when they showed it to me there, I saw that he couldn't do that, didn't look like. <coughs> Excuse me. It takes a lot of time to do anything, seems like to me. I wouldn't want to play golf with him. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, he's got to roll out somehow. I mean, the only thing he could do is what I was thinking is roll the ball right over there. I mean, how many things can you do? I don't think he hit that very, oh, he just meant to give the edge so that. He's got a mass air around it to play the safe. That was a good shot, really. So now there's some, a little bit of judgment to be made on it. He can't see a lot of it, I don't think, enough to play a decent safe. He can swerve around it and then play hit more of the ball, and then that'll send the cue ball down behind the eight or close to the nine, maybe. 
<clears throat> Depends on how hard you hit it. He'll just put a lot of right on it and swerve around it a little. It's 50-50, another one of those shots. I don't know that I would pass this one up. If I could get around it to hit enough of it, I wouldn't. I'll tell you, it's a pretty smart rollout. Really. We'll just try to curve around it and hit more of the ball. Very good. Yeah, I would have never let him shoot that one. No. Nope. Good shot. No, well, he's in a little bit of a predicament. Of course, he didn't have to land that one so perfect. He was pretty fortunate the way he landed the one right behind the two. He's got to, like, try to for something weird here and then. And if it don't pull off, he's going to sell out. There's, like, no way out of it, really. Except make the ball. Well, that's not the worst leave in the world for as bad a spot as he was in. Yeah. He's just going to put a lot of right on it and try to come back and hit the eight or come back and hit the two or miss them and get some kind of shot. This shot's always tricky. You got to shoot it slow and you got to put a lot of spin on it and let the ball curve. You got to play a curve on this shot quite a bit. And that's how you get the cue. And you can't over hit it or it won't come back and hit one of those eight or two or go between the eight, two, nine. Unless he tries something else. He did. He tried it. Wow, that's a good shot. He went with inside. Wow, hell of a shot there. That took some guts there, I'll tell you that. To put inside on it. To get into it that much where he could get around and hit the nine. He got a nice roll too, but he deserved it. He made a good shot. He deserved a decent roll, I guess. I make good shots all the time, but that doesn't mean I get a good break. That's not a dinner roll either. All right, roll this in with left top. Just roll past the eight. I'm gonna draw into the nine. Yeah, just roll it in right past the eight like that. Now he'll stun this off the rail, just below center with the right, and he'll pop it and use the rail to bounce back out to the middle. Similar to where the cue ball is now, he won't want to be quite that far over, but he'll put just below center with the right. See, here's how he's hitting it. Just pop it a little like that. Get a little bit of angle like that. And he drew that ball more than he wanted. I thought he, yeah, he, yeah, he drew that a little more than he wanted. He wanted to pop it a little. He wanted a little bit more angle than that, just a hair. Here, he's got to hit it with right bottom and delay the ball. He won't hit this with left. It's, I mean, right. You know, hit it with kind of right, unless he's going to follow it. And it'll hold it, and it'll change the angle coming back. See how he did that? You really need to pay attention on that one, you amateurs. He probably didn't hit that with left. Probably hit more in the middle of the ball and slightly right. And that'll make it change over, even though he was pretty straight. See where he got the cue ball? It's weird, ain't it, that he got it way over there? Because he was didn't have that much angle. That's because he didn't hit left bottom on it. He hit right more and held it a little. He'll put high right on this. He's got to whack this one a little. Come right between the eight and the, shoot the seven in the corner, right between the eight and the nine. 
I thought he was going to come all the way over. He almost snookered himself. If he didn't, he was supposed to shoot this, that shot differently, I think. I think he's all right, though. He's acting like he's going to have a baby, but he's all right. These guys are really dramatic these days. He'll hit this kind of hard and stun it, I guess, to the rail. Well, he drew it back. Well, he didn't have no angle then. He'll hit this with right bottom and draw two rails and just come back out. He'll play for any, he'll play for one of the corners. Unless he chooses to do something else. In fact, for me, the best shot is just to draw two rails and play for one of the corners. Oh, he played for the side. Huh. Looked like he had more angle than that. Of course, this overhead's hard to deal with. He'll just roll this in with right top. See how he put a little bit of right on that? Even though it was an easy shot, he still put a little spin on it. So you amateurs need to pay attention on that. All right, 4-4, four, four, tied up. Zelensky's breaking from the left side, left bottom. Another good break. Wow. How good does this guy break the balls? Scary. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Yeah, I haven't been doing a lot of... Uh, matches lately. They had some problems with the front office, if you can call this a franchise. <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, I guess I had to go, tra I traveled for a while, so we, we were delayed for a while. Just roll that in. Boy, that was tricky there. I thought he could have just drawn around the table three rails and landed in the middle and took a little longer shot. That was risky, the way he shot that one. As lively as these rails are, but he hit it good, he's all right. He can draw two rails. Yeah, he's just draw two rails back out like that. Perfect, these rails are real responsive. These shots I've always kind of Hated them. When I was younger, I was worse at them, but I've gotten better at them. He'll just drag the ball with a lot of right on it, go around the five like that. Good shot. He hit that nice. Zelensky doesn't look like he has any fear in him too much. I like the way he plays. Gorst is, uh, even though he's a hell of a player, he looks unsure of himself a lot. And he's slow. If you put a clock on the two of them, Zelensky might have his way with him. I'll tell you that. He's just going to draw straight back or stop. Draw back and bounce off or stop. He wants to get closer to the six. Uh-oh, he he's going forward then. Yeah, good shot. I don't know if that was a good shot or not. He might have been better off to just stop. I can tell you that right now. He would have been. Been better off to just stop and go and go two rails around the nine or run into them or just miss it. He's got to draw a straight back now. This is a shot. Everybody misses it. It's just a funny shot. You really got to stay with it. You can see he's focusing a lot harder on this one. That was a good shot. On some tables where the ball won't draw real good, that's a really tough shot. <laughs> if you get some of these tables around here that are really rough, right bottom on this, just kill it. Good shot. Important rack that he redeemed himself after the giving back the mini break. Right bottom on that, just draw. Gorse to break. Zelensky's leading 5-4. Breaking from the right side, right bottom, drawing the cue ball to the right 
rail. And it's another good break, but he's not gonna, he's not hitting them as good as Zelensky, that's for sure. Not as much action on the the pool balls when he hits them as uh, Zelensky. It's a big kid, he's tall. Reminds me of one of these big tennis players now. I always knew that pool would go bigger too. The players would get taller, just like tennis. I knew that before it happened. Used to be a short man's game. No, it's taller guys. He's gonna roll out somehow. He's gonna tie up another one, huh? No? Well, he's gonna put it against the rail, at least. Hmm. He could cross the two, send the cue ball, send the two ball down table, bank under the nine, send the cue ball back down table. That's the right shot. If it, I don't know, he can't see the top of the ball though. Maybe the six is in the way. I don't see him trying to pocket this ball. It doesn't make any sense. It, you know, although the, the combination on the four, four, four nine, eight will go. But I still hold the record at that world tournament. Three, three time winner. No, uh, I guess a couple of guys got two maybe. But, and then Alvin's got two. I just hope that record stands for a while. The tournament's getting harder to win, so. It's pretty good by Alvin to go. Uh, he won it last year, and then he got second this year. I think he won it last year, can't remember. But I don't know what he's gonna do here. Just roll it in, or make it, and then play some kind of safe, or Roll it in, make it, then try to play the combination. He could make it and just bump the six with the cue ball. Or he could slow roll it and just bump the two. I don't think he can get a safe like that. Guess he's gonna to try to play some kind of safe or play the ball and then. If he could see enough to cross the ball like he was gonna bank it, that would be the right shot and send the cue ball towards the seven ball. And he can see it. Now I guess they never will give me the correct angle to where I can see if he can cross the ball. Cause that would be the right shot. A little left top, just cross it. That'll hold it under the six. That'll bring the cue ball towards the seven ball. Looks like he might be trying to pocket it. Yeah, he was a dead man there. There was no safe that way, really, realistically. It looks like he left him where he can draw into him, maybe. If he can see enough to make it, he can just draw right into the four, try to break it off the rail. Yeah, that's what he's looking at, and he can. I can see now. They need to do more of that for me like this. This is still a tricky shot. Uh-oh, look at this bad roll. Oh, God. Uh, I thought he was going to get stymied right behind it. Here he'll just... Knock the four down table, put a little bit of right top on it, and send the cue ball back over behind the seven ball. I don't know if he needs any spin or not. He might can get the four ball towards the nine would be nice. 
but you're concentrating on really trying to get the cue ball back behind the seven. It's a little bit of right top. Beautiful. And he got that four under the nine, like I said, towards the nine. That was brilliantly played there, I'll tell you. He's got him in a spot here, unless he can just swerve around it and get underneath it. Always, oh, yes he can. Ain't that unlucky there? He can just barely. If not, he might not can hit this ball. I don't like his chances of hitting it. Like that. He's got to shoot bottom rail just before the side. Or is he going to try to tie one up or something? That's what he's doing. He's going to try to move the seven ball to the eight. I never was any good at these. Airfriend's a genius at this. <laughs> it curved a little. Just a hair. If it wouldn't have curved, it would have froze right on the ball. That was a nice uh, safety he played there. And it, would, it helped it because he got the four under that nine ball, like I said. The speed of the shot was ideal. That was a good shot, speed-wise. Now right bottom, just draw off a little bit. He wants to keep an angle. Doesn't want to draw too far. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. He went too far, looks like, maybe. No, he's all right. Now he'll just stun this one. He can't roll this one because he doesn't have as much angle. If he would have stopped shorter, he could have just rolled it. He'll hit this one kind of hard. See how hard he hit it? When you don't have a lot of angle for you amateurs out there, you need to hit them a little harder when you don't have a lot of angle so that you can get up back over on the next shot. A lot of, a lot of right bottom, left bottom, just draw it. And then again, he's got to pinch this one real good. He'll go straight in the side. A lot of left, looks like he's going around. Wow, that was brave. I told you, this kid, he looks, he's, no clock would bother him, I'll tell you that. He's a fast player, right top on this, just roll it in. I like his game, really. Just need to get him off his thumb, see if he can make a bridge. <laughs> Six four, Zelensky leads. Breaking from the left side, left bottom. Yeah, that horse, he looks like one of those Count Draculas from years ago. A little bit. Could have played Dracula, huh? But, uh, he got a bad roll there. And that ain't no dinner roll. Wow. Of course, I've already said that, ain't I? He could thin this ball and send the cue ball over there and under those, those, pile of pool balls down there. The six, the five, the four, and the seven. Excuse me. He could just thin the ball with some right, send the cue ball over there. I wonder if the two will get out of the way. He's looking at that right now. I think it will. I think it'll just get out of the way. Won't double hit. See how he's pointing for the cue ball to go underneath. Efren would, he would bury you on this shot probably. Put some right top on it. Right under there, how good did he hit that shot? Wow, beautiful. Now he's gonna jump out of, he's gonna destroy this beautiful shot with a jump cue. God, that was such a great shot. Cause he, he hit it just perfect, right under the six, just like he had to.
It just doesn't seem right to have the guy can jump out of that shot when you made such a nice shot. And you might lose from here because of it. this jump stick. Be a nice, be a tough kick. He'd have to go under that six. That's always a hard kick, that kick. Or kick between the five and the, the four and the seven and, and hold the cue ball somehow. He's just gonna jump over and try to hope something happens. Wow, how did he hit that? That soft. I would have to hit that harder to jump over. That stick is like cheating or something, almost. But he could hit it that soft. He just bank this in and stop right there. This is no problem. It's a dead bank. That's what we call a dead bank. Just hit it head on, goes right in. Stop right there. Not gonna miss that one, not supposed to, but he let his cue ball wander, and now he's got harder position. He's, we should have stopped it dead. He should have never let the cue ball wander on that shot. Now he's he's got a little bit trickier shot. But it ain't no problem. He'll just warp this real hard with left top. He'll go to the bottom rail, side rail, and come under the eight, or he'll run into the eight. I don't know what he's contemplating on this shot. This is not a hard shot for him, really. He's shooting it open-handed, which is weird. Left top, and knock the crap out of it like that. I don't know why he was worried about on that shot, really. And he landed perfect. Look how good he landed. That's crazy how good he landed on that. I don't know if he can slow roll it and just tap it. It puts a lot of right on it, just shoot it slow and it'll just move it, or he can stun over. He just stunned over. Good shot. God, that's incredible how good he hit three ball to land on that. But these rails, I like the rails. I really do. He'll put right, left, and go around the eight. But I was hoping to win another world tournament, too. I had an invitation to play, but I just wasn't prepared. So I turned it down. After getting quarantined at the Moscone Cup, I was still a little bitter over that, I guess. Crazy. I still don't know if I could have helped. Maybe. He landed a little bit funny. I don't know what he's looking at. He can just draw backward. He can hit a lot of top and whiffle the ball and come back and play the eight, seven in the same corner. Like that. Always remember that shot, you amateurs. See, he hit that with a lot of top and it just whiffles, comes back. Beautiful. A lot of right bottom here and just kill it. This guy's a, a tough customer, Zelensky. A lot of left bottom, just kill it. He's a crafty player. Stop right there. Taking a commanding lead now, seven to four. Gorse is in a little trouble. Right bottom from the right side, drawing the ball to the side rail. Oh, he Brooklyn. He Brooklyn it and got perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like it in my life. I broke, I can break for years and not make a ball. These guys are making three balls every break, two at least, one at least, which is still unheard of to make one ball every time. Back a long time ago it was, we were playing on those rugs. But uh, this is a tricky shot. He's got to pound it. He's got to hit it real hard and hit the rail between the seven and the side pocket and then kill it and come back to where the three ball is. Or he may be able to kill it somehow, hold it right there and take a tougher shot on the five. Or he's got to hit it real hard with just below center with right and 
just hit before the seven? No, he took the shot I said. The other one, the kill it. Them guys are scared of that shot. They, there's a lot of shots they won't take on that I will. I think that Zelinsky character, he'll take on that shot. He's got some game, some big shots in him. He's just gonna roll it in and stay before the sides. He won't go beyond the side. He'll go close to the seven, between the seven and the side pocket, the straight top. Maybe just a fraction of the left. He'll hit it slow. Good shot, perfect. Now he'll draw back a little bit. Important that he gets out here or it is probably curtains for him. He'll just draw back a little. Now he stuns over. <laughs> Thought he could have just drawn back. He, of course, I didn't see down the line. That didn't show me. Uh, they don't pan in, so I never know how much angle the guy's got on the shot. He'll draw this to, this, to the other rail over there. A lot of left bottom. It will avoid the nine and draw to the side rail. Good shot, ain't right that nice? Straight top. Come back. We'll play a nine on his left, I think. He'll hit right top. Played a nine on his left down there, which is our right now. <clears throat> He'll stun this. He'll stun to the bottom row with like left, middle. You don't want to slow roll these shots. You want to pop them a little. See how he did it? And he stunned down to the rail and went two rails. So for you amateurs, you guys are trying to slow roll those ends with no, you're trying to slow roll them in with no spin. You're gonna miss them more. All right, Zelensky leads seven to five, breaking from the left side, left bottom, drawing a few balls to the side rail. It's crazy. <laughs> good. Oh, I can't believe how good the, the pool balls have rolled for him too on the break. I mean, his first shots have been like gimmies, really. All he's gotta do now is just stop the cue ball right there Looks pretty much straight in. He'll kill it right there. Yeah. He's not straight in, but he'll still kill it. It won't move much. He'll keep a little bit of angle on that three to go two rails. Looks like he can, or unless he tries to move the cue ball. He did move it. He should have never done that. He should have kept that cue ball right where it was and went two rails. That was a serious mistake there. He didn't have to shoot that shot like that. Hmm, that was an easy out, really. Little of his, uh, he showed a little inexperience right there with that shot. That puts Gorse right back in the match now. He could draw this two rails and go between the seven and the four, or he can stun it with left middle and go straight up and down the table and get shape on the three. Like that. He actually had right on it. They would have shown me that angle in the beginning, I would have known that he was gonna put right on it. But they don't always show you. This is where Zelensky's cue ball should have been to go two rails to get on the four ball for the corner. I don't know what this guy's always looking at. Oh, I see what he's gonna do. He's gonna stun around for the side, probably. That's what he'll do. I would just stun the ball and go two rails and get for the corner over on, on his right. But I think he'll, he might stun all the way around the table. No, oh, that's what I would have done the whole time. That's what Zelensky should have done. He should have stopped the ball and then stunned two rails like that. 
That's why he missed the ball, because he tried to do too much with the shot, and he didn't have to do it. That ball wouldn't hardly go on the side anyway. The seven had it covered. Man, this guy takes a long time to shoot easy shots, too. They're not even hard shots. I could see if he had a hard one. Right bottom and draw to the rail or, or follow. He should draw this to the rail like that. Good shot. And it's Gorse breaking, so he could tie it up. It's a big mistake by Zelensky. Oh. Because that wasn't that hard a shot. Right top, come back. I wish they would pan in like that more. Oh, I can really tell what I'm doing. Follow it off the rail, excuse me, on my yawn. He'll just stun this, pop it. Like that. Zelensky, Zelensky leads seven to six. That was a big mistake. Horse is breaking. From the right side, drawing the cue ball to the right rail. That time he got it right. Wow, you got a gimme out. I wonder if I could break on this table and make a ball. I bet I'd break on it and never make one. <laughs> and they can make two every time they break. Even the women were making two. Can't believe it. How many pool balls they can make on the break on these tables. He'll just draw this with a little right bottom, just stun it a little and bounce off. Perfect. This guy sure is cautious. I'll tell you that, he's a little too cautious for me. Left bottom and draw back. Oh, he went all the way to the rail. He'll put a lot of right on this, or he'll stun it a little. These guys like stunning the ball a lot, too. I like rolling them. If the shot's rollable, I'll roll it. Yeah, I would just roll this with right. Wow, what is he looking at? He wants to make sure and give that guy a few cobwebs before he gets his next break. He just tap it a little like that. He actually had to draw that a little. Of course, they won't pan in enough to where I can truly tell all the time. He might take forever to shoot this one. He's got to stun it with just below center with right and pop it. And then it'll go over there where he's standing and he'll shoot the seven in the corner pocket that we can't see on the left. God, this guy. If he had a clock on him, a short one, he'd have to get a job. I'll tell you that right now. This is what I don't like about pull. This is what's crazy right here. You've got to put more pressure on the players. It's ridiculous. He's using the wrong bridge. I don't like that bridge, but he may get away with it. But I still didn't like that bridge. If he lands on the rail, could have been death. If he'd have got dead straight in, it would have been death. But he's all right now. These pockets are still kind of sweet, too. He can still, like, hit the rail and make it. He'll put left top on this. He's going to go two rails. He'll be a little bit aggressive. Oh, he only went one rail. Wow. I couldn't tell. Maybe he didn't have that much angle. I thought he had more angle than that. He could get out of that. He's left a tricky shot here. 
He's just got to make it. and He can stop and be all right, too. He really doesn't have to pull back. He may pull back a little, but he doesn't have to. Yeah, and he didn't, but uh, maybe a fraction. Roll this in with right top or draw past the sides. It's rolling it in with right top. See how he did it again? He didn't slow roll that, see? Seven, seven, Zelitsky's breaking from the left side. Pretty important for him to redeem himself with a break and run here after having a mental lap. Now he's getting funny rolls. That's what happens when you get, when you make a little simple mistake here and there. Nick's gonna have a tough safety here, it looks like. I know he can't make it, but I don't know if he can see enough to uh, stun the cue ball behind the nine and bring the three two rails. Or... He may have to cross the three ball, send it towards the four, with some spin, but it may double kiss. That's scary too. He keeps looking at it like, I know he can't make it. Judging by his facial expressions, he can't make the ball. But this is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. I think he can either just make it or just play safe like that, yeah. What a shot that was, nice. That was a pretty good shot there, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know what he was mad about if he had that shot. If I'd have had that opportunity the whole time, I wouldn't have been that pissed off. But he's in trouble here, I can tell you that. He can't hardly hit this ball, I'll be honest with you. The only way he can hit it, way well, he can go two rails he can kick bottom rail, side rail, and hit it like that off the side rail, three rails. Or he can kick the Z shot, like Efren, and shoot past the eight and the nine with left top, go between the five and the four, hit the middle diamond, whip the cue ball, knock the three in, and the four is right there. So this isn't impossible, but not likely. He gonna pull another effort? You can see he's looking at what I just said, hitting the middle diamond. Then the ball will curve a little. If he hits it hard, you gotta hit it hard. Can't baby this shot. No way that you can baby it. Well, you could, but that's not the proper way to shoot it. We hit it with a lot of spin, because he's kind of tight to the nine. You might have to spin it a lot. You gotta hit it real hard. Probably on the middle of the ball. A lot of left. Wow. That's hard to believe that he didn't hit it. It went there and jarred the pocket. I was pretty unlucky that he didn't hit it. <laughs> it was a, uh, that was a good effort, I'll tell you that. It really was. You can miss that shot a mile at times. Well, he doesn't look too happy now. Tell by the expression on his face. He'll just stop right there or draw just a little bit like that. He's gonna stun two rails or follow it or stop. It's gonna follow. Yeah. I could tell them when they showed me that angle right there, I could tell exactly what he had to do. You know, just stop right there for the nine in the left corner. Or left. Hmm. 
There you go. Eight to seven. Federer, of course, breaking from the right side, right bottom, sending the cue ball to the side rail. <laughs> Finally, a ball didn't go in, and he, he made one. <laughs> That's the first time a corner ball didn't go. And the nine's on the spot. That's in, like incredibly, it's incredible stats that they're making the corner ball with a nine on the spot every time they break. I don't even know how they're doing that. Okay, I can see what's going to happen here. He needs to put a little bit of left on it to hold it before the nine ball and go down and bounce off the rail and come back and get shape on the three. Or he might go into them down there too and play for something else. Because it's a harder shot to play it the way I said, the cleaner way. With left top and go up and down. See how he played it. Oh, he played it like I said. Wow, that was a good shot. That was a nice shot. Still kind of tricky. Looks like he needs to put left top on it and follow back and try to hit the six. Or we'll just miss it. Wow. He put too much spin on that. He's in trouble there. He's got to play safe. He can't pocket it. He can't bank it. He can't cut it in. He showed some immaturity there on that spin shot. He put way too much spin on that ball. He was supposed to just come back and hit the six. He tried to get too perfect. That's what he did. And that's, he's paid the penalty there. He's got to play safe. All he's got to do is just bank the ball. Uh, just bank it over to the side rail, two rails, and just let the cue ball stay behind the six. I, he was going to roll it and go behind it and bounce off. I don't like that. You know, he might be jumping in too, though. That might be the right shot to bank it off real slow and just roll behind the six. Oh, he barely got him. But he's got a kick at it. He can kick the bottom rail with right top, clip the four, send the cue ball down table. I always hated this shot. I never was any good at it. I'm probably better at it now after 50 years of playing than I am now. I mean, than I was when I was 20 something. But that's the shot. Just, it's basically all he can do. He can do something else, but it's trickier. If he tried to kick and stop the ball and knock it down table, he might scratch right in the corner. You want to hit this with right top, let it spin into it. Like that, very good shot. Made that look easier than it is. A little bit harder, it would have been even nicer if the bank behind that nine. Now the seven ball is playing a role on the safety. It's in his way. It'll alter his shot. It'll make it harder, because he's got to jack the cue up. If that seven ball wasn't there, it'd be a lot easier shot. Gonna make it just a little harder that he can't relax the cue the way he wants to. He's got to put a lot of spin on this and just dink it. Wait a minute, he could thin the right side and go around too. That might be a good shot because he's got a lot of blockers. See how it's in his way? It's just, it's bothering him just a little. 
He could thin the right side of the floor too and go around the table. He sit, he sit, he, he looks like he's banking. He is, he's banking the ball. I don't know if I like that because does this ball, oh, it does go. Wow. And that ball hit way up the rail too. That pocket was like a wash tub. Oh, I didn't know the five was sitting so easy. Looked like it was further down table, past the side. There it is, it's an easy shot now. Still tricky position though. Sometimes I think these players today try to get too perfect. They don't want to take on the tougher shots. He'll just roll this, he'll go rail, two rails. No, he went like that. That was all right too. I thought he would just end it and went side rail, bottom rail, and back. That was a good shot. It was harder to judge it the way he shot that one. Unless he couldn't do what I was trying to say. They don't pan in quite enough for me to see exactly what the guy has, what options he has. Here, he's gotta, he's gotta hit this with high right. He's gotta put a lot of spin on it. And it'll swing around the nine ball and go three, maybe four rails. If it gets all the way to the bottom rail, boy, he loves those open hand bridges and playing off his chin too. He'll just pop it real hard with right. Wow, he shot that way different than me. He's lucky he got there, tell you that. <laughs> I would have put more spin on that ball. He could have scratched the way he shot it. I'll never scratch that shot because I won't shoot it the way he did. He's very fortunate the table rolled out there. I, I thought it was going to stop short. But he's all right now. He'll put a little bit of right top, or he'll draw it. One or the other with right bottom. He put left top came down for the side. Yeah, he'll just slow roll this. Might go to the rail. Yep, went to the rail. Came back off. Right bottom and draw down the table. There it is, 8-8. Eight, eight. Zelensky's breaking, though. He's averaged at least two balls almost every break. Incredibly. Making sure these are perfect. Always hated breaking on the hill, it's always nervous. It's one of the, the worst breaks you'll ever have is, the, is your break and, and you're on the hill. It's the most nervous break I think there is for sure. You're saying don't scratch. Hit them hard at least, don't baby them. But don't scratch, you're thinking about scratching for sure. Left bottom, drawing the ball to the side rail. Look at this. He's got a gimme combination, <laughs> almost. Now this has got wrenching. It's not that hard. Oh God, he ain't gonna miss this. Looking at that, I, all he's got to do is just put a little bit of right bottom and just dink it right in the hole. I play these combinations with a little bit of spin. <laughs> he's looking. He's going. How easy could it land? I'm telling you, looking at what I saw, I just don't see him missing it. Just a little right on it and just dink it right in. God, oh please. And he fluked it. My God. Zelensky wins 9-8. Gorst is flabbergasted. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Stay tuned for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.